Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Kelthazad paper design pitch. Kelthazad, also known as Archlich of Naxxramas, esteemed Lich Lord of the Plaguelands, commander of the Dread Necropolis, master and founder of the Cult of the Damned, formerly of the Council of Six, creator of the Abomination, summoner of Archimon the Defiler. The paper design is the first chance you get to see the hero come together. It's to see the kit as a whole. We talk about it, discuss any problems we might have from each of the different disciplines. So it's a really informative meeting for us. This is the first time we get um, a kind of firmer sense of what we're going to do and what we're going to develop. <laughs> Kel'Thuzad is going to be a ranged assassin. He's going to be a mage. His primary focus will be on doing damage and controlling enemies and team fights. Kel'Thuzad has been in the works for quite a while in terms of planning, but now we're just starting to get into the real implementation for him. Uh, we usually take a couple weeks with the hero designer to get a hero uh, paper design in, in play where we kind of outline the general abilities and kind of expectations for what that hero is going to do. What I'm really excited about is when we're making Heroes of the Storm, we realize that we want each hero to be unique, and we we're kind of anticipating like, okay, Kel'Thuzad is a lot of ice stuff, but we kind of reinvent things when it translates into Heroes of the Storm. And one thing I was really happy to see is Kyle did a great job of picking some legacy things that were very iconic. This is basically a double skill shot. He shoots forward this chain and it hits a hero or any enemy, does damage, and then kind of like wraps around them. We have chains of ice. We have some shadow damage, which is great. We have some ultimates that refer to the Naxxramas encounter. So Kyle is trying a new uh, trait with this hero where there's multiple quest unlocks for him. Um, some pieces of those trait currently seem to involve a little bit of engineering support. And so Kyle's actually working through those problems right now with the engineers. We're trying a lot of new ideas with this hero. Uh, he's got a unique skill shot. He's got some unique talent ideas. He's bringing a lot of new things to the table. And there's a very high chance that these things will not work out. We've had that happen with multiple heroes in the past. We just have to kind of wrap our heads around the budget to build those things, make sure they're just as iconic as every other ability and that they function properly. So it's just kind of like a shopping list of stuff we have to do on top of making Kel'Thuzad himself. When we're going with a new hero who's bringing all these different things to the table, you know, it's gonna be quite a wild ride to, you know, see where, where they end up. Yes, indeed. We just finished the paper design phase for Kel'Thuzad. Uh, we're actually a little bit early, I'd say about a week early on him at the moment. Uh, it's January 30th, and we're talking about a hero that is set to conclude uh, development in the middle of July to get announced at Gamescom, which isn't until August. So it takes a very long time to push a hero like this through the pipe. So the paper design went really, really well, but we don't know how good the design is going to be until we get him in game. What's really exciting about paper designs is you never really know how they're going to go until the rubber hits the road. So we're going to take this, we're going to implement it, and we're going to see what ideas are going to come to fruition and which ones, okay, maybe we, they have some problems we need to hash out. Some heroes, it works great on the first go. Some heroes, not so much, and that's okay. That's part of the process. So as a community manager, um, Kelpizad is huge to me and to my team because the players have been asking for this hero forever, as since the game launched. So we're finally going to give them Kel'Thuzad, and I can't wait for that moment when he's finally revealed and everyone's jaw drops and they're excited they're finally getting the, the hero that they asked for. 